Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a rather large Harlequin army that we painted for Lawrence and the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. There are loads of really cool models in this force and as you can see, there's a metric ton of transports and infantry. So we're going to be back in a second to dive on in and have a look in more detail. Stick around because this is a great project. See you guys in a sec. Hey guys, I thought we'd start off with this great Harlequin force by looking at all the characters in this army. And uh, Lawrence has chosen to have three Death Jesters. Um, you've got the Solitaire at the front, and you also have the Shadow Seers at the back, so there's three of those. Uh, so we'll just pull these forward just so you can have a look at them, just get this to focus. So first up, we're going to have a look at the Solitaire, just get it to focus for you guys. And uh, as always, it doesn't focus. There we go. And uh, you've got the really nice diamonds there just shooting off the back of the cape, which is really cool. Really, really nice sort of articulated dynamic pose and looking leaping forward, as you can see there. Again, you've got that nice ceramic ethereal sort of face on the on him as well, which is really nice. And then all the with bits of edge highlighting throughout just on all the black work on that cloth just to really make it look like it's flowing and formed over his figure as well and you've got this nice uh, bit of eldritch kind of like structure here as well with some some uh, sort of glowing runes on it as well which is really cool and uh, a very very dynamic leaping model which i've always liked since it came out so that's just the uh, solitaire we'll pull forward some of these death jesters now ben's actually converted a few of these just to make them look different and um, lawrence wanted them to all be slightly different just so that they appear differently on the in the army and you obviously you haven't got the same model repeated lots and lots and lots throughout the force and as you can see yeah, this one's sort of creeping forward over this bit of debris and um you've got all this sort of nice color sort of transitions on the areas of the cloth work you've got nice three-handed diamonds down the back all the leather sort of like sort of bits here are all sort of highlighted as they get sort of on the raised areas which is really cool and then moving around the front you've got a couple of the gems all picked out throughout this uh, this model as you can see there and uh, i like the integration between the hand and the uh, the bit of rubble here as well so it looks like he's pulling himself around it which is really nice so that's just one of the death jesters uh pull forward another one here just slightly taller as you can see and uh, he looks like he's leaping forward off of this uh, bit of um, eldritch sort of rubble or scenery here as you can see again just very different his uh, diamonds and freehand diamonds you can see they're just green and purple just to, to match the other aspect of this force as well as you can see there uh, and again same consistency throughout same attention to detail and all the areas of the detail work on the model and the highlighting throughout the cloth and uh, different areas of the, uh, the models and uh, we'll pull forward the last death jester again in a very traditional pose and you've got him here just sort of like lunging on top of a bit of debris freehand diamonds on the back as you can see there and then you've got all the areas of detail work fully done and his rib cage and facing that a nice ceramic kind of ethereal kind of look as well which is really cool. So that's just one of the Death Jesters. Um, and to finish up, we'll have a look at some of these Shadow Seers, uh, because this is the first one in the more traditional pose. Again, same again, Lawrence wanted them looking very different. So one of them obviously in, in the traditional sort of pose that the sculpt is in, as you can see there. Again, you've got some free-handed diamonds just on the sleeve. And then this one is the standard poses I've mentioned already. And then the other two are a little bit different. So we'll pull forward this one first of all. So again, he's sort of like bounding forward here in more of a sort of arched, sort of forceful pose. Looks like he's like warding with his stave here a little bit, which is really cool. Uh, again, you've got three handed diamonds there on the leg as well, as you can see there. And then moving around the back as well, all the highlighting work done on the metal work and areas. Really nice sort of gold to silver transition as well on these pipes as well, which is really nice. And again, all the nice refined edge highlighting on the hood and sort of glassy kind of face mask, as you can see there, as well uh, so that's just the other one and then got on here that's really sort of like it looks obviously like he's leaning forward which is cool but if you if you just lift him up so you can see it looks like he's sort of like flying forward which is kind of what we wanted to do with it just to really look like he's actually leaping at someone you've got a nice transition of color here on these uh, tabard parts as well and all these free-handed diamonds is here as well and each one is uh, has got highlighting work to a bright point as well as a darker part of the diamond and a lighter part as well and again you've got that nice green kind of refractive light on the face mask as well on this one a nice split sort of uh, mask here as well on this one nice refined edge highlighting on all the black as well obviously when it's flat on the tabletop it looks like he's obviously leaning far forward but it really does give that bounding leaping uh, sort of look that we've tried to uh, to achieve with a pose of this this model so that's just the third shadow here. So that's all the characters from this force. Uh, I do hope you like them guys. It's a really really cool force overall. Really really nice sort of very really eerie kind of colour scheme which is really cool what Lawrence has gone for. Um, and up next we're going to have all of the troops of this force. So stick around that's coming up and don't forget we've got all the jet bikes and transports and gunboats coming up at the end. So see you guys in the next sections. Hey guys, so we've got all the troops here from this Harlequin force. Uh, there's six squads of Harlequin troops. 
Uh, they're divided into two sets of three by colors. We've got on the left, we've got green and purple, and on the right, we've got blue and purple. Um, so I'll start putting a few forward, just so you can have a look at some of these. They're really, really cool. Um, all the face masks, I'll just get to focus because it's not deciding to focus. Sorry guys, bear with me, there we go. Um, so as you can see here, you've got um, all loads and loads of freehanded diamonds all over these uh, the different aspects of these Harlequins. These ceramic faces are really cool as well. Uh, Lawrence wants us to make them look really sort of ghostly, and uh, the nice sort of eerie sort of bluish tinged uh, ceramic faces are that's what we try to do to obviously give that sort of ghostly kind of feel on the models. As you can see here, lots of nice subtle edging and uh, sort of sort of highlighting on the black cloaks and black black sort of areas of the um, stretch sort of uh, suits that they've got, and then obviously all different guns and bits. It's so all done in gold, as you can see. So that's just one of the purple and uh, green quins. Uh, pull forward one of the uh, blue and purple ones, just so you can have a look again here, as you can see, all three-handed diamonds there, all the lenses and gems all picked out, as you can see, You've got obviously different uh, weapon loadout on this one. You've got obviously a shuriken pistol here. And uh, if you have to forgive me, I'm not too familiar on that one. But as you can see, it's got a nice sort of uh, head crest, as we can see there. Half black and white face on this one as well. Uh, but there you can see all those three-handed diamonds on that leg there, as you can see. And the two tassels in nice uh, following colour scheme as well. So the purple and blue there, as you can see. Um, now, each one obviously has a troop master. And I'll just pull one of these forward so you can see here. So what Ben's gone in and done is obviously some freehand diamonds there on the front of this troop master. And on the rear here, we've got a load of freehanded diamonds all up the uh, one half of the cloak and also onto the arm there as you can see and uh, all highlighted as well with nice bright point and dark point on each one of those three handed diamonds as you can see here there so it gives it real nice depth um, and that's just one of the troop masters I'll pull forward one of the uh, green ones here so you can see that as well and the exact same effect here as well as you can see nice sort of uh, purple and green diamonds on this one as well uh, these are actually uh, magnetized as well so Lawrence can change out the different weapons that he wants uh, for competitive play and uh, again across the whole force you've got goblin green bases very very classic classic games workshop basing uh, scheme here on these as well as you can see so that's just one of the uh, green and purple troop masters pull forward a few more so you can have a look at these uh, again three handed diamonds on all of these there on the chest as you can see there and then again you've got the tassels there moving around the back like matching colors to the purple and green that's just another one of the harlequin troops there as you can see pull forward another troop master so you can see here again on the tabard there at the front you can see some diamonds that have been free handed Move around the back, you've got the full cloak here, fully diamond, uh, diamonded out in freehand. Again, all sort of the colour transitions on each one of those uh, diamonds, as you can see there as well. So that's just another one of the Troop Masters. Uh, and there you go, you've got six squads of Harlequin troops uh, with a variation of loadouts, some magnetising in there for Lawrence so that he can basically just tailor them to suit the game that he wants to, uh, to play. As you can see, hope you do like them. Next up, we've got all of the transports and jet bikes, so stick around, they're coming up in a second. See you guys in a sec. Hey guys, so to finish off this Tabletop Tactics Harlequin Army video showcase, we're going to have a look at all the transports, gunboats and also jet bikes. Uh, as you can see, there's a whole load of them in front of you. Uh, we've got six of the jet bike variant and then there's a numerous versions of the, the gunboat and also the uh, troop transport. There's six troop transports and then there's three of the gunboats. Um, what Ben's done with the colorway is the purple versions are the uh, the larger um, jet bikes are gunboats. And then to keep that with the uh, the six smaller jet bikes here at the front is also done two purple here as well. So you've got a really nice um, two blue, two purple, two kind of greeny blue. Uh, and that's obviously mirrored with the rest of the force as well, as you can see. So we'll just pull a few of these forward just so you can have a look at them in a bit more detail and a bit more depth. And get that to focus for you guys. So there you go. As you can see here, the freehand diamonds on the on the sleeves of the rider and also the pilot. All the saddle, the leather work has got full edge highlighting on it as well, which adds some really nice contrast in there. All the metal work has also got sort of silver edge highlighting on it just to really make it sheen. Uh, and again, all the details and dials and everything there, as you can see, fully picked out on this. Uh, this is one of the uh, sort of greeny blue variants of the of the bikes, as you can see there. Um, there's a nice blue glaze over the blade as well, just on that sort of uh, rider there at the back, just to give that metal on the uh, sword or, or scythe, should I say, a bit more interest. Uh, and the same thing I like as well is obviously on these uh, on these fins, uh, you'll see all the different colour variants there's a nice sort of transition to that original sort of colour hue purple there just there as well which is really really cool so that's just one of the smaller jet bikes as you can see here and then we'll pop all the purple ones so you can have a look obviously all the gems all fully picked out across the force and uh, on the purple ones Ben's gone in and done a red gem on these as well as you can see there and again the same this is a bit more visible here as you can see the nice subtle transition of some blue onto the black here uh, just to add more interest to those black areas on these jet bikes as well as you can see there which is really really cool love the ceramic faces as well just really eerie as well uh, so that's just one of the purple jet bikes and then we'll pop forward one of the blue variants just so you can have a look at the blue version of that 
get that to focus and then as you can see there are green gems on these as well just to contrast with the, the rest of the colors on this force uh, again all the saddles and everything all picked out all the metal work there fully sort of detailed highlighted as well more sort of freehand gems on the sleeves there as you can see uh, or diamonds on those sleeves as you can see there so that's just one of the uh, one of the uh, blue and uh, smaller jet bikes and then we'll pull forward uh, one of the first gunboats for you to have a look at again as you can see here, red gems all on this and then moving around obviously you can see all the areas of edge highlighting that we've done all the armor panels uh, all the crew fully picked out you've got a nice bit of, uh, of sort of freehand diamonds there on that sleeve as you can see there so that's just one of the purple gunboats uh, and then we'll pull start putting forward some of these troop transports as you can see here so again this is a more blue version than a green version and you've got some nice green gems on there as you can see nice contrasting sash colors on the legs and on this weapon here hilt that you can see and then you've got some free-handed diamonds on both the sleeve and the leg there and also on his arm the other, the other guy around the other side and there's also some free-handed gems as well as you can see there on the leg of this guy inside as well so loads and loads of hours spent in all of these freehand gems and, and diamonds even on the collar there as you can see all picked out with freehand diamonds we'll get that a little bit closer just so you can have a look at him Again, really, really bright. I've got both lights on these guys at the moment, so the uh, the, the, the ceramic faces are popping like mad, but uh, I do hope you like them. Uh, so that's just one of the troop transports. It's very much the same across the force. I will pull forward one of the green ones just so you can have a look at that and just get that to focus for you guys there, as you can see. Again, same attention to detail with all the edge highlighting and a really nice transition on these front diamonds on the front canopy. And uh, you've got a nice sort of purple accents on this black here as well. Just It gives it a really, really subtle, ethereal kind of glow to the areas of the armour. Uh, all the edge highlighting there as you can see and then moving around you've got all the independently uh, painted diamonds on the leg there on the arm there on that other um, leg on the inside as you can see on the gunner as you can see that there on the inside there's all freehand diamonds in there as well so we've uh, we've really been really gone to town gone to town this army for lawrence and there's uh, just hours and hours of freehand work done on these on all the crews and all of the uh, troops throughout the force and even on the characters as well as you saw in earlier part of this video uh, so that is all the transports gunboats and also jet bikes i do hope you like them there's a, a absolute load of them uh, you'll be seeing this very very soon on tabletop tactics if you're not familiar with tabletop tactics and i do recommend going on to uh, their youtube channel or on the paid on demand service in the, uh, there is loads of extra content on there and uh, sort of tactical stuff and some really cool things for you to, to get your teeth into if you like uh, gaming quite a bit so i put a link to tabletop tactics both the website and also the youtube channel below in the description of this video if you uh, if you are interested in anything like to do with like tactics, it's a really really good. I know I've said it a few times, but it's a really really good website for you to check out, guys. I'm gonna round up in a second, and I do hope you can stick around to see the army again in its full glory. See you guys in a sec. Hey guys, so I hope you liked this uh, force that we've finished for uh, Lawrence and the guys at Tabletop Tactics. It's been a really nice project to work on and I hope you liked all the different patterns and bits and bobs of freehand that we've done throughout the force, all the characters, the obviously the infantry and all of the transports and jet bikes. Uh, if you are interested in a commission, then please do head to our website and complete a contact form that can be found on the contact tab. Uh, just fill in all the details in the message section and also select all the options on the drop down boxes and fire that off to us and we can get the ball rolling. Uh, in the description of this video, there's links to all of our social media as well so please do go check out us out on instagram and twitter and sort of facebook as well we've got all links to those in there as well and uh as, as always please like please comment and please subscribe we really appreciate it and like chatting to you guys in the comments we'll see you guys on the next one thanks so much take care bye bye